What's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That's not what it looks like to me. Another nightmare. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You're waking up panicked every morning. It's nothing. Nothing! It happened last night. The night before. Don't tell me it's nothing. Do you want me to fix you something to eat? I'm gonna take a shower. Was that a yes? Deborah, ¿tú crees que le caiga bien a tus papás? Si te ven tomando así, lo dudo. No quiero que te vean borracho y loco. Pero sí, voy a estar tranquilo y relajado. You look beautiful. I've gained weight. What are you talking about? You look perfect. I'm serious. I'm not going to fit into my new dress. That'll save me time. I won't have to take it off of you. Yeah, Alright people, listen up. One police plaza latest directive. By yearly psychological evaluations. By yearly for bipolar. <laughs> Toward this illustrious goal, they have picked one of the highest stress units as the guinea pig for this pilot program. Not us. Us. So, if you please fill out this multiple choice form, you'll be receiving your appointment times from our resident psychologist. Any questions? Will this go in our permanent record? Everything will be confidential, John. So, what's the angle with this thing? I mean, can you flunk it? <laughs> and if so, then what happens? I really don't know. Okay. So, who goes first? I do. Blind leading the blind. Okay, let me see if I got this straight. Some girl is being sexually abused by some guy somewhere in Manhattan. Something like that. Well, do we at least have a description? We have a fruit vendor working with a sketch artist right now. Okay, assuming he's on the up and up, how do we know that the girl is? Millions of women are abused by their lesser halves every day and never say a word about it. We have to at least check it out. What if Woodward and Bursting have blown up Deep Throat as a prank phone call? Okay, prank call or not, it's three days cold now. So, this is what it feels like. What does? To be the suspect. <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. Sit down, relax. Yeah, right. What, you can't relax? I try. What do you do for fun? What do you mean for fun? How do you relax? Take a walk? Adam, this is New York. Everybody walks. Don, come on. You see it every day. Rape, murder, torture. It's as sure as your morning cup of coffee. And on top of that, you got responsibilities of command. I'm sorry, is that a question? How well do you think you handle the stress? Oh, I handle it. All right. How do you handle it? This is ridiculous. Why don't you just come right out and ask me? Ask you. Yeah, the question you be tap dancing around. To get the urge to drink. You see, that's the problem with you people. You ask questions about golfing or jogging or whether the person was breastfed or not. Everything else under the sun. Why don't you just come right out and ask me about my alcoholism? That's what this has been all about, hasn't it? Well, do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. 
but I will. Yes, I get the urge to drink. I see horrific acts of degradation, of brutality, of human evil. They, they make me sick, they make me angry. They get in my head and I want to shut them up. I know that if I crawl inside of a bottle, they will stop. Do you think you will? Ask me tomorrow. Come on in. How goes the witch hunt? Well, I've seen everybody. Have you found any bedwetters or crossdressers? No, no. I, I found a commensurate level of stress and neurosis that one would expect in this field of work. For the most part. For the most part. Tag a couple cops. Did you kill anybody? Oh, uh, few cops. No real people? Ah, uh, just cops. Can you believe Mr. Blonde? That was the most insane fucking thing I've ever seen. Why would Joe hire someone like that? I don't want to kill anybody, but if somebody gets in my way, one way or the other, you're getting out of my way. That's the way I look at it. A choice between doing 10 years and taking out some stupid motherfucker is no choice at all. But I'm not crazy either. What the fuck was Joe thinking? You can work with a guy like that. We're so goddamn lucky he didn't tag us when he chewed out the place. Came this close to taking his ass out myself. Act like a fucking professional. A psychopath is not a professional because you don't know what those sick assholes are gonna do next. I mean, Jesus Christ. How old do you think that black girl was? 20? 21? Did you see what happened to anybody else? Uh, me and Mr. Orange jumped in the car and Mr. Brown floored it. After that, I don't know what went down. For all I know, you're the rat. Now you're using your head. For all we know, he's the rat. That kid over there is dying from a bullet I saw him take. So don't you call him a rat. Look, asshole, I'm right. Somebody's a rat. How many times do I have to say it before I get it through your skull? Go down the hallway, then turn right. Hey. What? You're gonna have to do it, aren't you? Do what? Kill me. What makes you say that? They're gonna let that guy die, and you're gonna have to kill me. Nah, no, they're not gonna let him die. You wanna bet? I'm not a gambling man. Even if he doesn't die, you could just let me lose. Why can't we? Not in your nature. What do you know about my nature? I'm talking about your people, not you. Yeah? What do you know about my people? Only that you're all tough and deluded motherfuckers, and it's not in your nature to Shut the fuck go. up now, would you? And you know the funny thing? What's the funny thing? I didn't even fancy her. <laughs> well, that's not what it looked like to me. She's not my type. No? Come here. What? C come here. My inside pocket. Take out my wallet. There's a picture inside. Mm -hmm. No, not, not that one. The other one. No, she is my type. Well, she'd be anybody's type. Don't you think of it, fucker? I don't like him. I didn't like him the minute I met him. Well, you're not listening to me. All right. What is the boat thing? What is this asshole manipulating you into? Tell me! I'm just helping him out with something, that's all. I owe him. You owe him? He's a cokehead, Charlie! I can't even believe you hang out with a guy like that. He's sick! He's either gonna get you killed or thrown in jail! You saved my life, Gail. So now you have to pay him with it? Jesus Christ, Charlie. You give me this whole Song and dance about how you're out of this shit, but you're not. Song and dance? What does that, what does that mean? You're not. Where do you get that? From what? Why did you drag me into this? Drag you into what? Why did you make me believe all that crap about Bahamas and paradise? I feel ridiculous. 
Because you haven't changed. You haven't changed a bit. What the fuck are you trying to tell me? That my getting out is just this bullshit fantasy trip I'm laying on you? Is that what you're trying to say? How can you say that, Gail? How can you say that?